one part, in fact, which uh, interprets, you know, the moral conduct of how people today, especially, you know, they focus on morality and they say that religion is completely um, unnecessary because you have morality, everyone is paying, you know, uh, or contributing towards a certain charity, everyone is looking out for their fellow human beings. Now the Prophet Muhammad Islam has said regarding this very issue that a person who denies the existence of God can yet exhibit good moral qualities just such as to be humble of heart, to seek peace, to discard evil and not to resist the evil monger. These are all natural conditions which may be possessed even by an unworthy one who is utterly unacquainted with the fountainhead of salvation and enjoys no part of it. Many animals have a gentle disposition and can be trained to become wholly peaceful and not to react savagely to chastisement. And yet we cannot call them human, let alone, let alone humans of high status. In the same way, a person who is entirely misguided and even suffers from vices, from some vices, can exhibit these qualities. So, you know, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam constantly he draws this comparison of how animals can be tamed but it's not necessary that the humans who are displaying good moral qualities they are or, or you know basic natural faculties they are any higher than what the, the, the animals are doing there is a missing link so the promise Messiah Islam is pointing to the fact that there is a missing link and obviously we'll come to that mis missing link which I'm I presume does refer to nafs mutmainna um, I mean going through the book so just picking up from yeah. there, talking about morals and stuff, Hazur yeah, mentions yeah. what true morals are in, in, and he describes what true morals are. And I quote that, The time of true morals, whether good or bad, begins when a person's reason becomes mature and he is able to distinguish between good and bad and the degree of evil and goodness and begins to feel sorry when he misses an opportunity of doing good and is remorseful when he has done something wrong. This is the second stage of his life which is designated by the Holy Quran the self that reproves. So this is what true morals are, to do something on the appropriate time, to have the understanding of it, to feel sad at, at a loss you know, of, of something which is worth acquiring. And then Hazur further elaborates something between and makes a very subtle point here. He talks about khalq which is creation and khulq which is morals. And Hazur says khalq connotes physical birth and khulq connotes inner birth. As inner birth is perfected through moral development and not merely through the exercise of natural impulses, khul connotes moral qualities and not natural impulses. So these are the two things that Hazul mentions and what very slight difference between uh, the pronunciation but they have two different extraordinary meanings.